Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 clash game one between Frankie129 and Strider84, battle of the big numbers. Um, it's Frankie's undead, I think he's a bit of an underdog here, is Frankie. I don't think undead play into Woodells very well. I can tell you that he's Spanish and he qualified through NBB. Um, Strider, it of course, won the season two finals, which was the spiritual successor to this tournament. Um, he's from Switzerland and he qualified via the season three official playoffs. He did have to qualify because, you know, it's not the same competition. Um, it's a completely normal undead team. Two guard mummies is a bit better versus the fighty teams like orcs and stuff. A couple of block ghouls and a wrestle ghoul, but no sure hands. And a tackle fight, but no mighty blow. And um, Strider's got a pretty pretty typical online wood elf build. He's got the tree, he's got the leader thrower, he's got a couple of catches, he's got two wrestle two dodge, and he's he's also got the sidestep and the strip. Normally you'd have tackle and strip on tabletop, but Amazons do not exist on Blood Bowl 3, so tackle loses a lot of value. And he's got a blitz, and it's not a great blitz, is it? This isn't a great blitz. Um, quite an anti central blitz setup. A, a wide blitz would have been a disaster for Frankie, but he's covered the center at least against a blitz. Woodells were a mistake. That's a bold statement, that deal. Um, Woodells are like the best team in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Or the team in general. Uh, maybe just war dancers, right? <laughs> Hello, Spartacus. Yeah, very stressful. I can imagine. Dimmy's in the house. Whoa. Good old Dimbo. This was maybe a mistake from Strider already blitzing with this dancer, right? Because there's no rerolls on a blitz. So yes, he had more chance of knocking this guy down with block, but if he dub schooled, he couldn't re-roll it, and he'd just get fouled. Um, you know, if he if he survived. So there was a very risky blitz there, very risky blitz from Strider. Well, Halamis, I mean, first of all, they don't do that well in progression. And second of all, they do tend to get tiered down in tournaments now, right? Because people like, apparently, tabletoppers like Woodells being the best team. So they don't want them to be tier one anymore. They want them to be tier two so they can continue to be the best team. Oh, well, there we go. He makes, the, he makes some twos, fills one of them. I think it's, it's kind of fair going with a catcher for that. Like, you know, roll a bunch of twos. I don't hate it. But I generally don't do it myself because it's so risky, isn't it? So risky. Like, he's just going to get tackled at the end of the day. There's a tackler right there with nothing else to do. But, yeah, the, the, problem, that, the problem that Undead have is elves just walk away from the mummies, don't they? Versus Skaven, they can punch, they can punch the Skaven like linemen. But versus Wood Elves... They don't get to hit much with the mummies. And then that makes them a bit rubbish. And they can get stripped. So, you know, a bit like lizards. They're good versus the field, but not so good versus the best team. Which, I think that means most people should use them, right? Because most of your games are against the rest of the field. So most of the time they're good. But what it does mean is when you get to the uh, the business end of the competition, all of a sudden, you know, it's riddled with elves and you're going to lose most of your games. But still, for most people, I think that's still probably the right thing to do. Hate this blitz angle. Hate that blitz angle, sticking himself on that uh, horrible, horrible blitz angle from Frankie. Horrible. That was 
all kinds of bad. He just should definitely have blitzed from one down, right? Then he's not tagged here. Oh, he's going to have to rush as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he's going to have to rush there. He's made this little cage. He's got to do a blockless block as well. There's a tree ne right next to it that can probably get chained into the... <laughs> I can probably get chained into the cage <laughs> and smash him directly. Fail the pickup, makes it, gets in. Yep, this is already pretty much a nightmare start for Frankie. The blitz on him wasn't too bad, was it? But. This this blitz angle was yeah was a big mistake. I think it's fair to say he gets the power on the two dice block and gets a Kaz, so everything's perfect. <laughs> the under don't get wraith. No, they used to both get whites like this. They both undead and necro both used to get whites. So that was a badly hurt, and he apples it to get him back, which it makes perfect sense. Um. Yeah, so the whites that Undead have, Necro used to have. And then they changed that to race on Undead, which I uh, on Necro, which I thought was a great change, honestly. It made you know, made the two teams more distinct. And uh, also you know, if it increases Necro's viability in NAF tournaments, certainly. Yeah, amazingly. And Strider finds the way to smash this tackle <laughs> instantly. Yeah, the the wraiths are a really cool, really cool addition, I think. Honestly, I like the blitz here, right? Like the dancer could have run around, blitz that guy, chained chained the tree to there. Then you could have, uh, then you could have chained the tree again, and you could have just had the tree on the ball. Like that's not bad at all. Like I honestly think that's not even bad. But um, I guess neither is this. I feel like that was doable, the, um, the tree chain. I didn't look at it too closely, but uh, if I was playing, it's what I'd be trying to do. Well, some people have said it will do warriors, which, um, but like doing it so they're just gonna change the rosters to max the box which seems like a really bad idea but you know who knows it's just rumors isn't it and most rumors take with more than a pinch of salt yeah what a, what a mistake from frankie right now his tackle's completely isolated stranded he's got to try and pick him and dodge him away at the end of the turn not even getting to hit with Mighty Blow. I mean, he still could have bits with Mighty Blow, he just didn't. I mean. Yes, certainly, yeah. Yes, it seems weird that they that they would you know, that they would stop selling men <laughs> to care about the rules in any way. It doesn't really make any sense, does it? From everything we know about Games Workshop. It seems insane. So I'd yeah, I'd take that with a book of salt, yeah. Okay, he gets the dodge. Um 
He's going to go after that. Strider might just switch to like the screen now. He's going to want to keep this. Uh, he's want to. He's, it's hard though because he's going to want to keep banging down the tackler. Right? Now that he's got the tackler. He wants to keep punching him, but then he's down to nine players himself. One's a tree, and it's on, you know, off the centre line the wrong way. ponging this tackler <laughs> finally gets him took four players to knock over the tackler <laughs> you can follow here now he stuns him though so that's him done for a chunk of the drive completely isolated and stunned but this looks very easy for um, Frankie to at least punch a war dancer. And the tree's two squares into his half, so we can just walk past him now. And take the tree out a little bit. I mean, the, the problem is the heat it's attracting isn't costing Strider anything. Right? That's the problem. Like, wh how is Frankie going to benefit from this? One way would be hitting a war dancer with tackle, except he doesn't have tackle. Um, so he could try and hit a war dancer with mighty blow, I guess. Three dice mighty blow, powering, fouling, except he hasn't got anybody to foul with. So, like, he's just not able to capitalize because mummies are so slow, and ghouls don't have sure hands, and his tackler is getting annihilated. Is he going to rush Blitz? I mean, he has to now, surely, because he's blocked the way for the other mummy to Blitz. Gets the pal. I don't think it is Hellamese, because now, now, that it, now that he's past the tree, I think it's basically a non-factor. Oh my goodness. There you go. Mighty blow hit on the dancer. Kaz's in. Absolutely glorious. And yeah, no Apo. The Apo was used turn one on that uh, on that dodge Lino. He didn't even need Mighty Blow. He just rolled like 10 10. <laughs> 10 10. But Strength 5 did something, didn't it? Got him the 3D. Well, that's pretty good. And and to be fair, so you know, now he did he did um He did. Yeah, he doesn't need him at the back because he can only attack from from the front anyway. Like he can only attack from either side anyway. If you're gonna H cage, you don't need him at the back, right? You would need him at the back if if you're on cage corners or whatever, but if this is filled you're hitting from there or there anyway, you don't need the second guard, so yeah, he wants him at the front of the cage. Um, so yeah, so you know, actually saying that this uh, this tackler, you know, all it did was get him a hit, and it, but the hit that it gave him, got a Kaz. So, pretty, pretty good hit it did give him in the end.
Probably just one of the V blitzers. Yeah, the, the block list though, isn't it? I thought this was the obvious blitz, but then I was like, oh god, it's block list. Yeah. It gives you the assist there. Gets him over. Yeah, he's got past the tree, hasn't he? So now that opens up the space in behind if he can get forward. It's turn four, so he can start jamming his way forward here. He can also try to get his tackler back. <laughs> the long walk to get the tackler back. Frankie does like you know it's it's hard right because he has to he has to protect the ball really well, but also he has to like get forward and he has to put tackle zones on L's and he has to like you know he has to create penetration somehow. He has to force the issue. Turn four already. He's got nowhere. Move three L's, including a dead dancer. But he just has to push forward has to push in and push forward and you know maybe he'll expose the ball by doing so it is a glorious day yep yep there it is sidestepper gone one turn hugely diminished but will frankie mess it up and leave a hit on the ball it's always possible isn't it um Diamed does a great job of like getting forward and putting his opponents under duress as he gets forward and not leaving shots on the ball, but it's a very, very hard thing to do. And I mean, at least you can leap in for an uphill strip here, can't you? It uh, doesn't even need a leap, you can just dodge around. So he's got blocks, he's got all sorts of things. Lots of things to think about for Strider. He's got chains. Yep, yeah, I didn't like the dodge there because at least he was double tagged. I liked him being double tagged. I don't like the idea of him blocking off the tree and then getting into the cage. I would have definitely left the zombie on him. And yeah, okay, he's gonna he's gonna block this zombie and then move this guy back, but that's okay, like at the end of the day it's better than him. Like he can he can just two plus away anyway, right? Like the thrower can just two plus away whenever he wants anyway, so I thought it was worth keeping the, the tree back. Guaranteed. And you know, he might just hit he might just three D with a tree and put him back on two. But I would have I would have rather take away the choice from Strider. But actually, it's done it any good. Oh my god, he does do the hit with the thrower and does use a reroll. Definitely not going for any crazy ball hit now. He might go for a rush blitz. <laughs> Or a, uh, it probably just tag the white uh, with the tackler. No, okay. Tree boot seems a bit rubbish. I'm so not a fan of the tree boots. I actually couldn't be less of a fan of the tree boots. But he makes it. Wow. I mean, he didn't roll a one on either of those, so it works. <laughs> but...
It was a bit dicey, wasn't it? You could try and just dodge away here, like where you can block away as well, right? You could, you could try and block away, but um, you could also, yeah, you probably just got to block away. He could just try and dodge the right because he's got these four and he could have him as well. He could have dodged at the end. We can blitz him and uh, cage here. Um. Keep on the tackle. I don't know. This seems okay, actually. You can't really go anywhere easily. If you keep on the tackle, he just punches the tackle again, doesn't he? Which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, I mean, the problem with the un the problem with the dodge away is you're just eleven percent to then lose the game, aren't you? And you don't really want to add eleven percent chances to just lose the game, do you? So. I completely understand <laughs> trying to block the tree. So now he's got the four plus leap for the one D strip. This is the problem if you you know like you know if you obsess about keeping the guards around the ball all the time, then you've eventually got to make like a lurch forward like this and he split his team in half. Like I don't think he should have done this. I thought he was going to do it, but I don't think he should have done. But he kind of got into that trouble by having the tree here, right? He probably could have just caged, like, here. So he's still all of his teams together. But it's not... St even then, it's not together, right? Because these two are out. This is out. And if this guy doesn't stand up, then it's okay. You can get the team back together. But he does stand up. Yep. Well, I mean, you can fail the leap in, and you can fail the strip, and he's got to go for it at least, you know. Like, he's really given Strider no option here but to go for it, three players removed. Strip. It's in three tackle zones. That's the best Frankie could have hoped for, really. Uh, but now Strider is still 55% to win the game, basically. <laughs> Which is little bit annoying isn't it if you <laughs> if you ever play against wood elves <laughs> you have the ball over here screen I mean the war dancer can be served but if you've already won you don't care do you the problem is he, he if he does anything safe to to make this improve the failure state then it reduces the uh, the payoff of the running away. Yeah, he could have dodged the dancer there with the last move. Yeah. Fails it on the first try. Fails it on the second. So, Frankie is still in the game. Is he going to scatter it? Oh, he has to. Oh, it was the uh, it was the mummy. Uh, I, mean, I still would have scattered it. I, w I would have blocked with this guy, and then the mummy would have gone in to surf the dancer, right? Like, you kind of have to surf the dancer. <laughs> so I'd have blocked with block. And, uh, you know, blitz with tackle over here.
This seems pretty terrible. Well, that's, that's it is now because he 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 blocked with a mummy, right? You could have just put the mummy in. And two D in the two D in. Now he's got a 1D. I mean, he's still got to do it. He still has to do it. Because it's a, it's a dancer with strip. So. And, it, and he's blocking the path for the, this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh my god, he's killed the tree. <laughs> well, now this guy can pick up the ball. Oh no, he can give the assist for the surf. And he rolled a pow. He blocked him the right one. No! How do you not go for the sack? The sack, the surf. Oh my god. Oh my. It's a strip ball war dancer. It's a strip ball war dancer. The strip ball war dancer. You cannot not surf him. He can, but he didn't have to, Keith, because that's where he's going to end up, right? So one, two, three, four, five is just better. And then you're in, a, you're in an eye cage with guard. Oh my god, I can't believe he did that. Like, he put in the assist <laughs> and then didn't serve him. <laughs> like, he has got the ball on a blocker instead of a wrestler, which is better. Okay. But there's a stripper. <laughs> dancer. A strip ball war dancer. You have to serve it. You have to. You just have to. I don't care that he's got like a stronger cage and stuff. I just don't care. It's, you have to strip. You have to. It's such a golden opportunity that. Oh. No, no, it was fine. It was completely fine. He had the assist. He just punches him and then punches him. And he's off. And it was just a blockless block that he made anyway. And it would mean that he'd have the ball and a wrestler. And he wouldn't have a player here. And this player here is good because it's stopping him getting the instant what, 1D. So, you know, like, this this player is doing a lot. Like, he's he's got a stronger position out of it, right? So it's it's not that he's just wrong or anything, right? He's not just wrong to do this. But sure does feel wrong, doesn't it? Not not serving a war dancer. Like... Yeah, yeah, the block was cool, yeah. Because he, he had the wrestle there, didn't he? So... One day with wrestle isn't so easy, so it's um, it's tricky. Like th this school does a lot. This school does a lot. To, 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 to be fair, it's a re it's in a really good spot. <laughs> Uphill strip. This is a hard leap in. Why didn't he go there and leap to there? Or like, cancel them. He could have done a 1D strip. That's weird. That was weird by Strider. That was weird. Maybe he was just, maybe he's bamboozled at still having him alive. Move the ball first. Move the ball first, Frankie. Move the ball first. It's turn seven. Move the ball first. That was pretty horrible from Strider. Genuinely pretty horrible. Or maybe he couldn't reach. Maybe he couldn't reach. He was here, wasn't he? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Something. Maybe he couldn't have blitzed from here. But, I mean, you've got to blitz from here if you can, right? If you can blitz from here, you can just tag this guy. And dodge this and then one deal. No, no, it's turn seven. Calm down, guys. You'll, you'll get your foul. But you've got to move the ball first. I 
And this this guy could have just come round the side. Round the back. I mean it 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 reduces the chance of him getting the counter score, obviously. But it would have been an easier jump and uh, a leap. An easier leap. And a one day instead of an uphill. Oh my goodness. Well <laughs> <laughs> um yeah this is uh this game's looking pretty bad for strider he's he's in he, <laughs> <he's>, <laughs> the 320k players have all been cast wow yeah maybe he's tilted pressure you know Wow. Yeah, I know it's 125 now. Oh, God. God damn it, BB Jock. I know it's, I actually know it's 125 now. I said 125 the other game. I know historically they're 120 and they've gone up. Um, but, and technically it's 145 for these two, right? Because they've got skills on them. Technically, technically correct, BB Jock. <laughs> Um, but my god, what a half. What a half for Frankie. Flip me. He can 3D surf this lad. No! No! <laughs> okay, KO him anyway. Surfed him. Oh my goodness. Six players <laughs> Strider. <laughs> the funny thing is, Strider can still get a draw out of this, right? Strider can still get a draw out of this. If he gets eight players, you can just dacker and get a draw. It's completely Glorious. possible. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. No, and I will games. defend. I will defend. Thank you very much, Kruska. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Absolutely. Glorious. Yeah, there's no one turn here, is there? <laughs> but he might if he gets a if he gets a timeout, he can just score. Like it's insane, right? If he gets a timeout, he can just score. And win the game. Wood elves are stupid. Wood elves are proper stupid. Way more. Like they're like this is the thing, right? If you take dark elves, the chance of this happening is a lot less. But if it happens, you're a lot worse off, aren't you? Whereas Wood Elves are like, don't even really care, mate. Don't even really care. Can he one-turn this? He might actually be able to one-turn it. Doesn't look like it. He's got six players. He could set up for a quick snap, right? What he should do is put the catcher here. So if on the quick snap, he can do it. If he can do it on a quick snap, even. Yeah, he'll build it. he can do it on a quick snap, right? But only a quick snap. With six players now. Nah. You can't want him with six players. I mean, they do care. They do care. But they can still do it, though, right? They've, they're still live. They're still live with, with, with eight players in the second half. They're completely live to get a draw here. Whereas Dark Elves with eight players in the second half are... Looking pretty terrible, right? And you know, Dark Elves can't one turn even with a even with a quick snap here and I don't really get this it's not a quick snap I don't know what, exactly what he's going to do but I'm sure if you get the quick snap and you put him in there you can like block you can fill these two right and then block him there and fill this one one two three four five so I'm sure he could have done it on a quick snap I don't know 
obviously on a timeout you could have done it as well. So if he, if he gets eight players, even with seven players, that if he gets this catcher back, the Dakar's not the worst thing. Okay, he didn't get the catcher. He's got seven players. He can still absolutely get the draw here, Strider. I'm sure we won't see a foul every turn. Frankie could like all men's LOS this. <laughs> Maximum DACA pressure. Because surely he's going to DACA. Like, there's n there's no other choice but to DACA. Because, you, you, I mean, he's letting him quick score, but you can't really quick score and hope to hold on, so you have to DACA. You have one strategy. And it is run the flip away. It's funny that not surfing the stripper might have been the play that won him the game, right? If he, if he wins. Because that that ghoul was in an amazing square to protect the ball. <laughs> and then he cast it anyway. <laughs> He's got one catcher, which is really all he needs. He has only got three dodge, which isn't great. Would have been much better getting the catcher back than the lineman. But... Yeah, this is the problem that that undead have is they're pretty inept against a Daka. But I guess it, it is a DAC with only seven players, so if there's ever a time to stop it, it's now. Oh, you shouldn't pass the turn. I mean, you, you should at least like make it into like a hard formation to get past, right? He doesn't have to go forward. Like he doesn't have to go any further forward than he is now. But he has to get it, you know, hard to break through. He has to make it hard to break through. But he doesn't have to like, you know, he doesn't have to over pursue. Because he's one nil up, isn't he? He doesn't have to chase it. He doesn't have to hundred percent chase it. But he has to try and make it impenetrable and he has to make it in his own half like he wants to make it inside Strider's half so that he can just walk back back if he wants as well right? he wants to like he wants to have the defense at like the limit of the L's range so he can't get past it well I think anyway it's hard It's, it's really hard to defend against the Daka. And uh, especially with Undead. Like, Undead is so rubbish at it because the zombies are crap. And the mummies are really crap. <laughs> and this is not how I'd be doing it. But he is getting to punch something. Getting to punch things is good, but it looks like he's going to leave space for Strider to get past him. I mean, to, to blitz a dodger as well, but he gets the full power. I 
be I don't I don't like this <laughs> from Frankie but you know Strider is narrow and only has seven players so maybe he won't get past he does have the tackle of D and central so Do you know what? That wasn't a bad turn at all there from Frankie, I think. I think that's pretty decent. Well, pulling the right mummy isn't great though, is it? Because you've got to do a three plus without dodge into an uphill with Wrestle. It's not great. Yeah, yeah, the, the, it's actually quite good, isn't it? Yeah, by by coming up here, this kind of blocks off the right. Actually, work work really well, and then he's got this double. He's got this like elf screened here, so he's got this side secure, and then the mummy is the weak point, as Niagara pointed out. But it is a three plus to get to him because if you hit him here, pushing him doesn't do anything. But you know you can still burn turns here with Strider, right? And you just hope that hope that Frankie makes a mistake. At some point, which he can do, you know, with having zombies, <laughs> having movement four dudes with an edge two plus is uh, edge four plus. Sorry, is you know. The zombies are really, really bad at like, playing good bowl. <laughs> Great at getting punched. Really bad at playing good bowl. So there's definitely a chance that uh, Frankie does something wrong. Yeah, that was a blockless block, wasn't it? I, the problem. I mean, that's the problem that Strider has is his two his two players that would be blitzing every turn. <laughs> I've got a slight, uh, an unfortunate case of being absolutely dead. <laughs> ah. Okay, he's gone for the face-to-fist -face technique. This might work out. I know what I'd be doing now, but, and what I would prioritize defending, but we shall see what Frankie does. Isn't this, but he might fix it later. Oh, is he going to rush with a mummy, do you think? To get the 3D? I think putting the mummy like in the side looks quite good, right? Or even there. Because now you've got this zombie there, you can put... You can run forward with a mummy. And that ghoul can come over there, and then you've kind of got him surrounded right that's not terrible I mean you could also just put him there 
it's not so good being 3-4, is it? You want to keep them as deep as possible, realistically. Not coaching, by the way, not backseating. <laughs> but he hasn't blitzed yet. Uh, that could have been three dice. <laughs> I don't understand why he wouldn't just make it three dice. Really don't understand why he thinks this square is so much better than this square that it's worth sacrificing a knockdown. Like good knockdown chances. Strange. I would have definitely blitzed this this one by the way, the furthest ahead one. Without dodge. And uh else screen. I think this is not good. I guess if he, do, if he screens it as well, he doesn't screen it as well. It's a bit weak, isn't it? Like it's a bit, like it's not super weak, like it's not terrible or anything, but it's enough that um, I think Stride is definitely gonna just break down the side and get the ball up here, right? <laughs> he, had to, he had to have this fully screened. This, this guy had to come up to here. Had to, absolutely had to. What is he? What is he doing here? Right, nothing. Could have been there. I guess now if he's there, it makes it makes the side switch over here worse, and like Strider definitely comes over here. But it's less dangerous him coming over here. He might he might go over here anyway, right? It's turn twelve. He he could come over here. But like if you move this school up here, or if you blitz this one. Then he definitely has to go over there, and then he's not scoring yet, is he? And you can move everything over. So this guy is more readily able to switch sides. That's the advantage he has of not covering the sideline. But this is pretty desperate for Strider, so I quite like going to the sideline, but he is going to switch sides. Switch sides is the safer play, for sure. But I quite like getting up, honestly. I actually just quite like getting up there. One D blitz the zombie, two D him, and then you're just down the sideline. Not with many players, but I think it's pretty desperate. But maybe he'll get a better chance next turn. So now this square does look good from uh, Frankie because he's saved two squares. Didn't have to be two squares all, so there you go. Shows how much Jim knows. But to be fair, I would have had this zombie there and this guy knocked over and that girl behind him. Yeah, sideline wasn't all in move. I absolutely but I, I would have gone, well, I'd say I'd gone for it, or I'd have wanted to go for it. You know, at the end of the day, when push comes to shove, you might have the minerals, might you? So. Problem with this is it blocks where he'd like to go. Yeah, he rushes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is where he'd like to go. Or even 3 to it, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, he did 3 to it. Bigger payoff 3 to him. Could re roll it, he's got 3. It's actually pretty strong to get ahead. Yeah, yeah, quite like that. Yeah, it's easy, it's easy to sit there and watch a game and say, ah, you should just go for this one day, or, you know, dodge and uphill the mummy and stuff. Like, it's easy to watch and say, ah, yeah, just uphill the mummy, but when you're playing it, you don't really want to do it, do you? So I completely understand him switching back here, and it's it's still pretty decent for him. Right? And plus, the more he like just switches from side to side, there is more and more chance that the undead, you know, do something wrong, make a critical mi misposition, and give you like an easy way up the field. That can always happen. I think just block with a mummy, couldn't they? One in eighty-one, and then there's a gaping hole and stuff. So, I hate this. 
actually hate him going to there. I would have just put him back here, right? So it's harder to tag him next to the ghoul and then just fight him with this stuff. Pretty much has to blitz the wrestler. Ugh. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Ugh. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Thank you very much, Geode Hammer. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Wow. A follow on this sub, incredible. <laughs> Thank you very much. What's he doing with the last mummy? Not a lot. Yeah, it's it, it's not bad, right? Because now you you being deeper is a little. Bit, you're not you're only movement three, but it's a little bit better being a little bit deeper. And making him make a 1 in 36 dodge is, is barely worth it, right? Mm. Oh, thank you very much. Purple stones can't wait. Alright. <laughs> so, yeah, like what he could have even had, right, is these three could have been in a line. So there was no way to tag out the tackle at all. But I think that's a little bit too light. I feel like he can't afford to have three players. Like, he's got three players doing nothing right now. Which is a little bit light for doing nothing. Um, but we have to have this one further over here. Doing something. Maybe this one. Maybe two in the middle doing nothing was fine, right? Because at the end of the day, Strider does have to like get up to here or something, right? And you want things back to hit them. But currently, you can pretty much like make a sideline cage there, I guess. And he hasn't really got that much to fight the sideline cage. I think it's pretty pretty good from Frankie. There's not like anything super weak, is there? And here it goes, he is going for the sideline cage, and it's a lot of dice rolls. Oh, I think he's going for the sideline cage. The thing is, the, the, the breakthrough over here, he had the players here, and the players were there, right? Like, <laughs> Strider's players were here, and Frankie's players were here, so we could blast through him. Whereas now it's like, he's got to make... Yeah, you can't afford to have him double rush there and then get the other guy ahead. So he's got to make a bunch of rolls to clear this. Got a two plus away with him, blitz this one. It's still pretty decent, to be fair. But yeah, look how much better it could have been if he'd had another player over this side, right? And let him have that sideline cage basically. He would have rather had it up here, I'm sure. But, you know, this was where he was going to do it, wasn't it? I think he probably needed that zombie there. So he does get to tackle this guy, put tackle on the ball, jam in here, run around the back, knock this guy over. Like, he gets to do so much this turn. Next turn is going to be pretty horrible for Strider. Ugh. Yeah, do you know what? I don't hate the reroll there. 
I would have pushed him down though, I think. No, but then if you push him down, you don't get a jam in here, do you? So maybe I'll, maybe that was correct. You could have somebody out back there, couldn't he, as well, even. He's got to try and decide how much he keeps something back and how much he pressures in. He probably needs to keep something back, right? Oh, I hate that. I would have rushed him at the end, right? He had two rushes to like go in here or something. He out of bracketed this guy on him away on a two plus, bracketing him. I would have bracketed him with a zombie on the outside and the uh, white on the inside. If he powers this guy and doesn't follow, this mummy going one two. Three, four. So he's he's blocked his path for the mummy. <laughs> oh no no! If he powers him to the follow, he can go. No, he, yeah, he's literally he's blocked his path for his mummy. If he didn't follow there and he didn't have this mummy here, he could have gone one, one, two, three, and got the mummy in there, which is incredible. And uh, so he's got a way out the back here. He's got an easy escape out the back. He had to try and lock down this back, like move this guy last, right, and rush him or something, um, or, or rush the rush the mummy last or something like this. Well, Alp, the tree based based the ball and the mummy, and then the mummy just killed him. <laughs> he is running out of time, yeah. So if he come if he goes back, he might not score at all, and um, he could try and get the ball to this guy and run away. Uh, he's going to one D and skull into a push and now he's out of re-rolls and he's based on tackle raw out yeah that was probably the, it might still be the play right one two three four five six seven eight following through with this dodge away with that I mean it's a 2-3 without rerolls that's pretty likely and then a 2 with a reroll so he's still very likely to get here which is pretty good and then it's a 2 plus to get this guy see I, I would have really wanted to make this a 3-2 for him I think that was a mistake by Frankie not bracketing him and so two plus to get him there. Two plus to get him there, which makes it harder to hit him. Then he can go up. That might not work. It is a double tackle, but it's, you know, two three isn't unlikely, is it? It's more likely that Strider gets away than he doesn't. And after he's got away, maybe uh, maybe he'll get caught. But he's he's pretty likely to get away still. Oh, he hasn't blitzed yet. Oh, well, I mean, that was really great, wasn't it? Blitzing the uh, tackler and then um, didn't work. Double surf, lovely jubbly. I mean, just sing the single surf is the most important, isn't it? Mummy, mummy blitz. Do you mummy blitz this? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you can think, you've got plenty of time. You've actually got two block ghouls, so you can, you can, you can block blitz, can't you? Or you could blitz this one and then surf him. In fact, do you want to surf him? Maybe you don't even want to surf him, right? Maybe you don't want to surf him at all because... No, no, you want nil ahead. But if the ball goes here, it's a foot race between elves and zombies. So it's actually quite a lot to think about here. Um, Frankie's got four minutes of time bank. So this is probably a use like three minutes of your time bank turn, right? Like really think everything through. I mean, he hasn't because he's already started blocking. <laughs> but this, this was probably a a really go deep into your time bank and make sure you get this, uh, make sure you get this turn right kind of turn for me. He's got the block girl for recovery, right? The mummy can go in there and then he can surf with a wrestler. And then he's got the block girl to go and carry it wherever it goes. Did 
Doesn't look like that's what he's doing. Oh no, he's using the block player. Hate using the block ghoul to do this. Absolutely hate it, right? He's blitzing a wrestler as well, so you have to use your you have to use your wrestle ghoul. He's cast him, so no surf. <laughs> <laughs> was the problem about doing it this way, right? Whereas if you blitz this guy, then you can block him for the serve. You can still 3D him, right? You can still move in the wrestler and 3D him. But now, now he's really got no... Oh, oh, this guy could move it. No, this guy can't reach. This guy can come in. Only 2Ds him. Gets the pal. Got to follow. So keep tackle on him. Doesn't. Ball goes in the crowd, gets the surf anyway. And the ball is there, you can 3 plus to win, and you can use these guys out to cover everything. And wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I would have done like, I would have been, this would have been a used 2 or 3 minutes of time bank turn for me, right? You might as well, right? Really think about the ordering and absolute like payoffs and everything, right? Think about everything, like mega, mega thinking turn now, I think, was the way forward. But all worked out in the end. Like he was way ahead, right? He was way ahead. Well, down, I mean, down but not out, dog to the dog. This is just game one, right? So this is. Almost certainly a loss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can one dice him. Almost certainly a loss, but um, you know it's not over yet. But yeah, <laughs> just a few counts yet. And um, okay, now it's definitely a loss. <laughs> definitely a loss for Strider. Well, I'm pretty shocked, honestly. I'm pretty shocked. And now it's really hard, right? Because now Frankie can just get a draw. Now Frankie can just go through with a draw in, in, in the next game. Of course, if Strider wins the next game, it goes to a tiebreaker match. Don't say it's over. But, wow. She conclusively proves the DAC is wrong, yep. <laughs> Didn't score with seven players. What a noob. Terrible strat. Maybe he could have just banged it in quickly and uh, defended with no dancers and no tree. <laughs> Might as well score here because there's no extra setup. And there you go, a 2 0 win. An absolute shocker. Um, you know, fair play, Frankie. Congratulations to him, commiserations to Strider, but it's not over. They will be playing their second game um, tomorrow, I believe, at the same, same time as tonight. Yep, that's correct, 10 o'clock UTC tomorrow. And now, Frankie only needs a draw, and, you know, that. Obviously, vastly increases his odds. So, uh, incredible stuff. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.